Hi friends, in this session we study about the fraction. First, I would like to explain what is fraction. So, a fraction is derived from Latin word fractus. It means broken. Represents a part of a whole or more generally any number of equal parts. I explain you. The numerator represents a number of equal parts and the denominator which cannot be zero indicates how many of those parts make up a unit or a whole. For example, in a fraction 3 over 4, the numerator is 3 tells us that the fraction represents 3 equal parts and the denominator 4 tells us that 4 parts make up a whole. Fraction numbers can also be written without using explicit numerators or denominators by using decimals, percentage signs or negative exponents. As in 0 0.01, we could write 1% also or we could write 10 to the power minus 2 respectively, all of which are equivalent to 1 over 100. An integer such as uh, the number 7 can be thought of as having an implied denominator of 1. So, every number, every integer, we could the denominator 1, we could write in this way 7 over 1. Other uses of our fractions are to represent ratios and to represent division. Thus, the fraction 3 over 4 is also used to represent the ratio 3 is to 4 and the division 3 divided by 4. In this way, we could write this. In mathematics, the set of all numbers which can be expressed in the form of a over b, where b is not 0, is called the set of rational numbers and is represented by a symbol q, capital Q, which stands for the quotient. The test for a number being a rational number is that it can be written in, the, in that form as a common fraction. However, the word fraction is also used to describe mathematical expressions that are not rational numbers. For example, algebraic fractions and expressions that contain irrational numbers such that you can see here root 2 over 2 and pi over 4 and where you see the root 2 and pi both are irrational. So now we see how we make the fractions. Here you see in this question, uh, in this circle there are four equal parts, one is red and other three are green. If you have to find the fraction of red part, so we have only one red part. and total number of parts are 4. The fraction is 1 over 4. If you have to find out the fraction of green parts, so you see there are 3 green parts. So we will write here 3 in numerator and the total number of parts in denominator. It is 3 over 4. Now in question second, you see uh, there are 5 equal parts we have made in one circle. So here the fraction of red parts, there are two red parts, 1 and 2. So, we have to write down here 2 and the total number of parts are 5. So, 2 over 5. Here, if you have to find out the fraction of green parts, so there are three green parts and the total number of parts are 5. Here in this question number 3, you see, uh, here we have made uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 parts. Out of 8, if you have to find out the fraction of green parts, so we see the green parts 1, 2, 3, 4. So you write down here 4 and the total number of parts are 8. If you have to find out the fraction of blue parts, there are 3 blue parts we have, so 3 over 8. And if you have to find out the yellow part, the fraction of yellow parts, so it is 1 over 8. So in this way, uh, we could write the fraction, we could generate the fraction. Now, here you see in question number 4, there is a square uh, in which some small squares are there, 6 squares in one column and 6 in one row. So, there are 36 small squares inside this big square and each square is filled with some color. We have filled three sort of colors here. One is red, green and yellow. So, we have filled these colors here, red, yellow, green. So, we have to find the fraction of each color. So, we know that uh, there are, we know that there are six uh, and six, there are 36 uh, total number of, uh, so, 
we have 36 square here inside this because the 6 into 6 is 36. 6 into 6 which is 36 because the 6 is uh, uh, rows and the 6 columns. So, first of all we have to write down 36 in the denominator of each. Now, we have to fill up the numerator. So, we have to fill up the for the rate part we have to find out the fraction. If we have to find the rate, fraction for the rate part we will count how many rate parts are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, I write down here some 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, we have 12 rate parts. So, we write down here 12. So, it is 12 over 36. So, we could write also 1 by 3. Now we see the fraction of yellow parts. So here I write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 yellow parts, squares we have. So we write down here 6. 6 over 36. Now we have to find out the fraction of green squares. So we see how many green squares are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, uh, there are 18 green squares here. So, we write down here 18. So, you see 12 over 36, 6 over 36 and 18 over 36. If you add these all, you will get the whole 1. I explain later these all. So, in this way, we could find out the fraction. Uh, the simple way is also we have uh, if you have to find out the number of rate parts you could there are three in the row uh, we know that the four rows so four into three there are twelve we could write in this way if there are two rows and in each row there are three three to the six so we have taken here six here also in a row there are three and the number of rows are six so six three is eighteen six into three is eighteen so in this way we could also count here you see in question 5, we have 5 different colors here in this big square, 5 different colors of a small squares of equal size we have. So we have to find out the fractions of each color. For yellow, so I would write down here for yellow, uh, we have 1, we have 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 small squares of yellow color we have. So, first of all, we know that the total number of squares, it is also 6 by 6 uh, square. So, we get the 6 by 6, we know that uh, 6 into 6, 36 total number of uh, squares of each side. So, we have to write down here 36. Now, the yellow number of squares we have 6. So, we write down here 6. 6 over 36. Now, we see the blue one. So, I write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 blue squares. So, I write down here 7. Now, we see white. So, it is 1, 2, 3. We have only 3 white squares. So, I write down here 3. Now, red squares we see. So, for red squares we see it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 red squares we have. So, we write down here 8. And green we see how many are there. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. There are 12 we have. So, I write down here. So, look at here we have 
uh, the fraction of yellow ball as so yellow square is 6 over 36 fraction of blue square is 7 over 36 fraction of white square is 3 over 36 fraction of red square 8 over 36 and the green square 12 over 36 if we add up these all the numerator it should be equal to this denominator 36 so 12 plus 8 20 plus 3 23 plus 7 30 and 30 plus 6 36 so we are getting a 30 here also you could see this thing 18 plus 6 24 plus 12 is 36 so it is always the same if we are doing this sort of questions now i would like to explain some other sort of fractions here also you see we have uh, one two three four five six uh, rows are here in one row there are also six squares so the whole number of squares is 36 we have 36 and the red color we have to find out the fraction of red uh, set at fraction with the red color it is also 36 so we will write in this way and we have to add up this so there you see we have the 36 total number of squares but the red color of squares 1 2 3 4 3 4 into 6 it is 6 4 times 24 we have so we have 24 here so we could uh, how we could find out this so if uh, we have uh, two technique uh, otherwise we could take uh, 36 common uh, on both the denominator and 36 plus 24 we could write in this way also so we get here uh, 36 uh, plus 24 which is 60 60 over 36 so we get here 10 over 6 or we could say 5 over 3 in this way we could so we could find in next fraction 1 times 3 2 so it is 1 is 2 2 by 3 this is the reply of this fraction or we could easily do it here also so 36 1 times 36 1 times so it is 1 we have got here and uh, 12 2 times 12 3 times 1 plus 2 by 3 or we could write 1 is 2 2 by 3 so you see the both are same so in this way we could find out the mixed fraction uh, these are the improper fraction we have uh, the value of uh, fraction is more than one are called improper fraction or less than minus one or more than one is always improper fractions now here you see also so here you see also mm, 36 uh, uh, we have total number of uh, squares and the shaded square is also 36 here i write also 36 over 36 here we see how many squares are there. So here 6, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have the 16, 16 over 36. Okay. Now the value of this is 1. It will cut and we get 1 here. This is also 1. Here we see and we could divide it by 4. 4, 4 times 36, 4, 9 times. Uh, 36 so it is 4 over 9 so it's if 2 is to 4 over 9 because 1 plus 1 2 plus 4 over 9 so in this way we could write in the mixed fraction form so it is also improper fraction so in this session we have studied how we get the fraction how we add it up uh, through this uh, diagram so figure in the next session we will study how arithmetically we operate the fractions okay Thank you.